It's all about two great jump drills which are going to improve your sprint speed. Yes, you heard me right. Jump drills that are going to improve your maximum velocity. The first drill is a kind of takeoff drill that you would use for the long jump or the triple jump, for example. However, the objective here is to keep the trajectory flat and to travel forwards. And there's a twist though. You've got to do two or three takeoffs from one leg and you take two steps and do two or three takeoffs from the other. So there's a constant switching between takeoffs across the drill. Technically, as I said, you want to keep the trajectory pretty flat and you create the movement by a really powerful free leg drive. Get the thigh to a parallel position then get back down onto the track as quickly as you can. It is all about traveling horizontally as quickly as you can. Coordinate your arms with the leg movement, make it powerful, keep your chest elevated and chin up. If you were to do the drill as a jumps variant, then you'd want more trajectory and you probably wouldn't change legs throughout the drill. Okay, the second drill is a penultimate step kind of gallop drill. Now this is a very shortened version of a free leg landing takeoff drill, rather like one of the takeoffs that you've seen in the first drill. The objective here is to move the free leg into a slight takeoff position, but then put it down as quickly as you can onto the ground so that you create a very kind of clipped short staccato movement. Now the objective if that were a jump drill, would be for the penultimate step, as I've mentioned. It's all about making that transference from step two to step one in the long jump in a deliberate and quick fashion. However, for a speed sprint drill orientation, we're doing it really to fire up the neural system to potentiate and to create greater reactivity. And to make it more sprint relevant, swap the way that you do it around so that the right leg is striking the ground sometimes and for the second or your next rep rather I should say the left leg. So you're getting the balance of movement across both sides and in both movement planes of the body. I use these types of drills to really fire up the athletes in the peak indoor or outdoor season. We've layered our speed, speed upon speed upon speed in order to be able to produce these really high powered high velocity efforts. There are lots of ways that you can trick, develop, condition your body to provide, produce greater amounts of speed. And these types of drills and others can do that. Don't think that because you can't run as fast as some of the other guys in your training group that you won't be able to in time. If you do the right type of training, the training that suits you but in particular is very specific, very fast, very quick orientated, but progressive and safely orchestrated, pulled together, then you will get the results. If you'd like to help me help you become a better athlete or coach, then do consider becoming a channel member. Head over to the channel's homepage, click on the members or join button and take a look at the offers which are available. For just $1.99 a month, £1.99 a month, you can become a channel supporter and do just that. And if you really want to get the most out of your weight training for sprinting and jumping and perhaps discover why certain types of weight lifting techniques and methods won't work for sprinting and jumping, then check out this video. Thanks for watching, do subscribe and good luck with all your competitions and your training. And if you're interested in the free lap timing system, accurate to two one thousandths of a second and extremely portable, then do drop me a message.